Welcome back to Pax Christi. We are now on the cusp of the holiest days of the Christian year as our church prepares to observe Holy Week and the Easter Triduum. It's a time for all of us to slow down and to indulge in the prayers and liturgies of these days, which we hope will open and change our hearts. Spend a good chunk of time lingering, just lingering over your Bible or rosary at home or in nature or art or musical indulgence, in silence here at church or elsewhere, in the small pleasures of family life, just linger and let God speak, whether in words or in silence, and become better aware of your own situation before God right now, whether it is one of gratitude, weakness, fear, or challenge. For as many faceted as my own life of prayer can be at any given time, it is also necessary to recognize that God is just as deeply involved in the lives of my neighbors, family, and friends in ways that I may know nothing about. People walk around with secrets all the time, not necessarily because they're trying to be evasive or to cover up shame, but because they are engaged in some of the very same wrestling with God that our ancestor Jacob engaged, trying to figure things out, to come to terms with questions of meaning or seeking ways to be at peace with trials and challenges. Some are walking around with lots of inner joy, others with great sorrow, still others with confusion. I often remember a personal conversation I once had with one of my professors in graduate school about 25 years ago. He was a Jesuit priest, a brilliant scholar, nationally respected writer and lecturer. I held him in a certain degree of awe because here was this little old me engaged in his class and getting to know him after having read all his books. I no longer recall what we were talking about, but at one point he stopped and told me how self-conscious and frustrated he was while he was teaching. He had a neurological disease that nobody knew anything about, and it would make him occasionally do things like drop a piece of chalk in the middle of a lecture or drag one of his feet while walking around a classroom. He told me that to a casual observer, it could have looked as if he were drunk or just clumsy. He said that in some ways things would be easier if he had a disability that was more obvious, one in which people would sympathize rather than just be baffled by it. It was a wound, a cross, that only he carried and only he knew that he was carrying. As we follow Jesus this week on his way to the cross, his Via Dolorosa, let us recall the many like him whose sufferings are evident and public. But just as much, let us remember those whose hardships are perhaps more hidden, but no less difficult to bear. We just don't know. Be well.